If you're in the market for a new Marine CD Bluetooth receiver, give this piece right here a good look over. This piece is brand spanking new. It just hit us. Um, it's a 2015 model made by Dual, which is an AMB600W. This thing is very exciting on so many different levels, and I want to tell you, <laughs> you, you got to step aside for some of these com main competitors who own this market, like Clarion Fusion, Kenwood Alpine, and the likes, because this piece really is a whole lot for a very little bit amount of money. This thing looks gorgeous. I'm going to show you what this thing looks, and I'm going to light it up in a minute. But I want to show you. While all the other manufacturers out there are pulling back and giving you less and making you pay for all the little goodies, Dual is giving you the stuff for free without asking. Nice case right there, 3.5 millimeter analog cable. Instead of taking the mic out of the unit, they give you the extension so you can actually have a clear conversation no matter where you're at. Remote control right here, removable keys, removable uh, faceplate keys, ISO mounting hardware, 16 power speaker harness, of course, big old manual. Detachable face, which I want to show you. Also in the back there, you have security light, SD card slot right there. There's for your CD drive. They give you a mounting sleeve. Lots of stuff in the back, which I love to see. The most important piece besides the uh, antenna, and this piece also supplies uh, weatherproof uh, silicone covers in the front, which I'm going to touch on in a second. Back here you got two sets of RCA preamp outputs for front and rear or you can select the rear as a sub and you can do front and sub or you can split up the front and have it run four outputs. Uh, just you'll lose the uh, fader of course. You could have a front rear and sub. Dedicated auxiliary RCA input right here and for the first time ever they have a serious compatibility plug. So you can plug in your SXB300 Sirius XM tuner directly into the unit. That's good thing. So if you're looking for something that says a lot because that means that Dual has create a marriage with Sirius XM. That's a big commitment and that's the, like, that's the stuff I like to see because that tells me that there's even more good stuff to come from this company in the future. I love to see good stuff like that happening and this thing has a lot of good stuff happening. Right now I have the unit on demo mode so I'm just going to let it kind of do its little show and I'm going to do a little talking in the background as I typically do and then I'll tell you a little bit more about the features of this new unit. So as I did say this unit is Sirius XM ready for the first time ever from Dual so good for you Dual. Excellent. I love to see it. Base treble balance fader controls I'm going to toggle through um, so you can see there won't be any mystery how those things look and how they work. Two line 16 character positive white LCD which looks great on any boat. High temperature and UV ABS polymer construction which is something new and inventive for any manufacturer out there. EDP coated and PET wrapped chassis so that means that whatever dirt, dust, moisture and other kind of crud that there is out in your marine environment and on your boat if you're not the kite that kite that clean their boat a whole lot. This might be the radio for you. I know it would be very good for me. Um, silicone, silicone covers for the USB and 3.5 millimeter uh, inputs are over here on the right side of the unit right there. Um, also, what else we got? We got a 250 watt, uh, 60 by 4 MOSFET powered detachable faceplate for security with the LED uh, indicator. So when the faceplate is removed, you can actually see it and it has a little status indicator for anybody who's thinking about stealing your radio. Um, front panel USB input. SD card between behind the faceplate as I showed you before so if you want to stick it in there you can do that cover it with the face and play the music in the background two sets of preamp outputs AM FM tuner 30 set station presets seven channel NOAA band built right into this unit which is amazing for 2015 I noticed all the higher end manufacturers are all going that way it's nice to see because it's so annoying and distracting to try to have a VHF radio going on in the background while you're trying to enjoy your music at the same time so looking at the front of this unit it looks awesome the only thing i don't like about it is it has like a gray i would have liked to see it in a white finish or maybe even a choice between black white and this gray but you know that's what it is over here you have your bluetooth for start and terminate a call power button right here this is the infrared sensor for the remote control i don't think i showed you a close-up of the remote control but this is what it looks like it is infrared uh, technology you have over here your multi chog menu which you can hold and get into the main um, more user setting type of stuff and then you have your everyday kind of uh, setting mode which I'm going to show you both uh, band for your AM and FM uh, fast forward and rewind and of course stick track forward and behind you can of course get your iPod music um, from generation 4s and down you can use the USB but any version Bluetooth um, 
will work with this via streaming. So for me, who have an iPhone 5, or if I'm lucky enough, maybe someday I'll get an iPhone 6, because it always seems I have one year behind, like, like usual, um, you can do that wirelessly. Also, A2DP compression setting, so that way, when you're transferring your media from streaming, it doesn't sound like total crud on the other end. A lot of units are not getting with the program when it comes to that, and they're not inventing into the chip. Um, so that way it makes your Bluetooth sound as good as if you had it hardwired either through USB or 3.5 millimeter or if you had an MP3 on a disc or something like that. There is a difference and I'm sure you've noticed it in different meeting, media formats when you use different units, the quality of the sound. You're not going to notice that, that lackluster performance in the sound quality. This unit is going to do what it's supposed to do, how it's supposed to do it, and that's a very good selling feature. This little needle shows you what mode you're on. So that way there's no guesstimate, you know, if your wife or someone else is on board and they're not sure what's going on, it tells you right there. If that the two line uh, 16 character text display wasn't enough for you, you also got this little knob, which is kind of weird, um, but in a good way. I like that. I like the red. It looks cool with the blue. It's just something about it. I just, I just like looking at this radio. Um, your display button is located right here and you got your presets, USB 3.5 millimeter. Your reject button is located right here. Um, let me show you what's going on in, in the uh, settings menu. So your basic, if you just tap it once, you're going to get into your base. You can turn it up and down just like this. Very easy to use. Treble, balance, fader, of course, UK, uh, EQ. These are all your presets. Turn it to what you want it to be. Hit it again. So with for volume control built right in here. Very quick and easy to get to it. Source level. So if you're going from one source to another. Now, if you want to hold the same button in, you got auto program stations, which is kind of like your TV for best stations, the ones that are strongest near your antenna. Locals for your uh, radio. You could also change where you are, Europe, USA. iPod control, you could do full, manual, um, and of course you can do it via Bluetooth and USB or if you're gonna go old school you got the analog right there Loudness control Which will give you more Base frequencies at lower volume levels, so it gives you a better experience listening to the system Your clock you can turn it on turn it off auxiliary for your front turn it on or off rear Subwoofer you could change that uh, RCA in the back it could be either a rear or a subwoofer preamp output so this is the setting in which you could choose which one you want it to be, full range or subwoofer. You could turn the beeps for the unit on or off. Program volume, message, scrolling, you have it on, the length, once and stop, or off if you don't like it at all. Dimmer, you got low, medium, high. I'm going to leave it to medium because I'm not sure exactly how great this is going to come out in the video. So. I'm hoping it looks good. Demo, I had it on because I was talking and yakking as I always do in the background when it was um, in the beginning of the video section. But hey, listen, this unit is in the low $100 price point. It's a quality made unit. It sounds great. It's got a lot of features. I'm so happy to see them finally get on boat with the Sirius XM because if you're a boater, I personally can never live without Sirius on my boat when I had one. Um, I loved it, and I think it's great, and anybody who's want to get want to get in a radio is not going to care about the CD changer outputs and a lot of other stuff. That stuff is all, nobody uses that. That's that, that went out with the rumble seat, you know. I mean, this is, this is the new times. This is what people want. They want Bluetooth. They want to stream. They want to use their USB, charge their phone. They want to do what they got to do. This unit performs. It gives you everything you want for a boater. NOAA 7 band weather. It's got the preamp outputs for your amplifier. It's got high power. It's a CEA rated unit. I mean, it's got it all. I mean, for a low price. I think this unit is just a great piece. I would love to have one of these things in my boat if I still had a boat. I wouldn't hesitate on buying one. So I think it's a cool unit. Give yourself a look. Go to their site. It's Dual AV. Check it out more if you're interested. This is the model AMB600W.